Hey man, what's good YouTube? What's good Sosa gang? What's up my brothers and sisters? Sosa here and I'm back with another banger for y'all today. Today I got y'all with a sick video with my updated six. Since I came back, I've been testing out a lot of six. Actually, I got four different like presets for y'all uh, setups, what you want to call it. A mistake that a lot of people do when they pick their six is they just find whatever YouTube video and they just copy their six. I don't feel like that's how it works. I feel like you got to find the six that match your playstyle. So today, what I'm going to do is I got a lot of different six that I've been testing out. Of course, these are all good six in the game. I'm not going to show y'all no bad six, but these are for different type of playstyles. Like if you want easily dribbling, if you if you a guy that likes to combo up a lot, if you a guy that just wants to come stage dribble moves, you know what I'm saying? I got all the setups for y'all. So this video is for everybody. But yeah, if you're new to the channel, make sure you drop a like and a comment and don't forget to sub. I'm trying to hit 30k on YouTube right now. I think we had 27k, which is crazy. I still can't believe it. I love y'all so much. And I'm so happy to finally be back and be able to make videos for y'all. If you have any questions to me or want to contact me, go to my Instagram. It'll be linked in the description. That's where I respond to DMs. You can also follow all my other socials down there. I already know that y'all need the new dribble tutorial and y'all finna ask for it after this video. Because I promise y'all I'll be moving in this video. So get this video to 500 likes and I got y'all. So for the first six setup. The first thing you want to do is add Kyrie Irving dribble style and signature size of Darren Fox. These are, I can't lie, you can, like, you know what I'm saying, the two best signature size ups is for sure Steve Francis and Darren Fox, but I feel like Darren Fox is easier to come up with and it's just way faster. So make sure you got Kyrie Irving and Darren Fox on. The six that I'm showing y'all right now is actually the one I'll be using. Like, this is my main six size up. I feel like these are the fastest move and the best if you play, like, comp stage. For me, it's a little more advanced than the basic comp stage ones, but I'm sure the basic ones too. But first of all, we're going to do my setup. So, so like I said, Kyrie Irving dribble style and signature size of Darren Fox, but for the regular breakdown combos and the aggressive breakdown combo, we want to put on James Harden and John Morant. James, the, the James Harden one don't really matter. I barely use that one too. But the John Morant is the one that can give you this glitchy spin that you're going to see later in the video. But I advise y'all to, again, find the six setup that matches your play style. Find a six setup that's going to be the most fun for you to use, the ones you like the most. If you're not sure, just by looking at the video, you can go ahead and test them out in the mock code yourself when this video is done. But I, I'm just saying, that the first one here, this is the one I'll be using right now. But I might end up changing a little bit about it because I'm not really sure if... I, to be honest, the only thing I really would change is the escape package. But that's just because I like this other escape packages too. Alright, for the escape moves, I use Trey Young. I feel like it's the fastest if you want to L2 cancel. I feel like it's just the one that like gives you the most separation, looks more unpredictable. And then for the combo moves, it's Kyrie Irving. Combo moves, I, don't, I personally don't use combo moves, but for the people that use them, I feel like Kyrie Irving is just a nice one. But I also know Steph Curry has some nice, has some nice combo moves and Darren Fox has some, but again, like I said, I don't really use the combo moves like that. It's not really something I put into my dribbling. I don't know what it is though. I feel like when I got Kyrie combo moves on, I feel like my combos just come a little bit more shifty. But I don't know if that's just me. That might just be me. But for the next um, things you want to put on is the John Wall crossover and the Jamal Murray behind the back. These are the fastest ones. I feel like these are the best, like, if you play a comp stage. Because that Jamal Murray it just gives so much separation when you do the behind the back. Even though I do like that new one they added this season, which I'm going to put in some of the other six setups. But it's just, it doesn't, it doesn't really create the same amount of, like, what's it called, separation as the Jamal Murray one. So that's why I stick with that one on. But what I'm trying to say is, with these moves, there's a lot of different things that you gotta worry about. Like, for, if you say the behind the back sick, it doesn't only change that one, the behind the back right there. It also changes the misdirection from the front and back and the explosive behind the back. So you wanna find the one that fits your playstyle the best and the ones that you feel more comfortable playing with. But for the, for the last three things you want to put on for my six setup, it's the Darius Garland spin, the Chris Paul hesitation, and the Stephen Curry step back. Chris Paul hesitation just gives you a nice little crap move to the side when you use it. And the Stephen Curry step back, I feel like it's just, I don't know, actually, I think I think the fastest step back, like when you snatch back, is uh, John Wall, but there's just a move in the Stephen Curry like that I use a lot when I combo up. So that's why I gotta use that one. 
spin moves. I don't really use spin moves like that. But again, it's all about finding the ones that you like the best. But yeah, that's it for the first six size up. And as y'all see how I'm moving with it, like you can go test it out. But I feel like this is a pretty good setup. And that's that's why I chose this as my main one. For the six size up number two, or the setup, or size up. Like I went with a little bit more. This is probably what you're gonna see in, in every comp stage video, but it's the dribble star Kyrie Ruben, signature size up Steve Francis. These are the most basic six that most comp players use, so that's why I just wanted to make a little preset with that. But again, with the Kemba, it's just so fast to come up. I can't even lie, like it's just when you do that crab animation, it just swings the ball so fast over and it just makes it look hella fast. But the thing about it is I don't like doing L2 cancel with the Kemba Walker, so that's why I prefer Trey Young. But for the regular breakdown and aggressive breakdown, again we're gonna go with James Harden and John Moran. These ones aren't really that important. Like I said, you're not really gonna use the regular breakdown. At least I don't. But the aggressive breakdown, I use that a lot. So make sure you got John Moran on for that one. And the setup I'm showing y'all right now, I feel like that's the easiest ones to move with. I feel like it's the least complicated moves to put together. So if you're a new dribbler, you might want to put these on. But for the next, we got the Kemba Walker escape moves, like I said. And the combo moves are still Kyrie Irvin. Because, again, I don't use combo moves, but I feel like I get more shifted when I put on Kyrie Irvin. You see right there, the spin right there, that's what you use the John Moran one. But yeah, Kemba is definitely one of the best escape packages, for sure. It's just so fast when you combo up, and it's so quick, and it's hard to predict. But again, the L2 cancel, I don't really like it. But for the next, you want to make sure the John Wall crossover is on, and you want to have to behind the back Jamal Murray. Again, it's the easiest ones, and probably your best option if you're a new dribbler. So make sure you use this setup. This is like the beginner setup. This is the most... Normal setup is the one most players use because it's the easiest to use. But just because it's easy doesn't mean it's not good. Like it's still super good and it's super fast and you can become unpredictable with it. And for the last three you want to put on, there is Garland. It's the same as the last time. I don't even know if I gotta explain it. Steph Curry is by far my favorite step back because there's a move that I do a lot when I chain up. Hesitation Chris Paul is fast and the there is Garland spin. Again, it don't really matter for the spin. You just gotta find a spin you like. I don't use the spin that much. But that's it for six setup number two. So let's move to number three. This six setup is 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 probably my favorite setup. If you ask me, this is the setup I wish I could run with in stage. Because it's so shifty. I, I love how the, the dribbling looks. It's so fun to dribble with. First thing you want to put on is Daryl Fox size up and dribble star Kyrie Irving. But this this six size up, it's like I, I'd say it's I keep saying six size up I means setup. It's, it's like for my park players, for my, my people that love to combo up, the people, my dribble guards. Because this one is advanced to use, but it looks so good when you know how to use it. Like, you, I know you see how I'm moving. Like, you see how he just slides all over the court. Like, I love dribbling with this. It's, it makes the dribbling so fun for me. Can't lie. So, I might want to see if I can bring this to the stage. But again, I don't know if that escape package is going to hold up in stage. Even though it just looks so good. Like, you see that dribbling right there? It's just... It just look satisfying. I don't know what it is. Uh, I, I, I love dribbling with it. Uh, for the next you want to put on, you want to make sure you got on, again, James Harden and John Moran for the breakdown combos. And, I mean, you can put on other breakdown combos. Again, these are just to inspire you. You can also mix all these different setups together. Like, it's about finding what's best for you. But this is to showcase what all the moves look like. Like, I'm dribbling with this different size so you can see why I put them into different categories. But again, this, oh, th this, this, this setup is just my favorite one. And if I play park or pro or anything like that, I'm definitely slapping this on. But first stage, I might have to just go with the first one I showed you. But I know y'all see me moving with this though. But again, if you're a good dribbler, it doesn't matter what setup you put on. You will always find a way to be good with dribbling. I don't know if y'all remember, I did a spin the wheel video with dribble moves. You see, I was still moving in every clip. Let's see. For the next, you want to make sure it's escape moves is Darren Fox and the combo moves is Kyrie Irving. But the escape moves on the Darren Fox one, that one right there, this just looks so good. Damn, I love that sick. But I, I, I don't know. I've, I don't know if it's fast enough for stays again, like I said. But I definitely, I might have to, I might have to give it a try because it's just too fun to dribble like that. But for all my advanced dribblers, my dribble guards, this is definitely one you want to try out because it's. I, I, I know y'all looking at it, you like, damn, it looks so shifty. So, uh, I feel like if you're a dribble guy and you don't only play stage, you might want to test this one out. See, if you could bring it to stage, tag me in a video. I want to see it. I want to see it. I want to see how you move with this in stage. Because me, personally, I don't think I can do it. 
shit, some of y'all might be able to. So if you can do that, tag me on TikTok. I would be sure to check it out or send me on Twitter. These things will be linked in the description. For the crossover use, John Wall, and for the behind the back, this is the new one, the Tyrese Halliburton. I actually have been using this in stage a lot, and it's been working fine for me. But again, you get a little bit more separation with Jamal Murray. But the thing I love about this one is, if you see when I do Mr. Ration behind the back, you get like a really fast animation. It's way faster than John, uh, not John Moran, uh, Jamal Murray one. And that's why, I, that's why I keep going back to it, you feel me? So sometimes I still be using this one in stage. So if you want to slap on the new, the new behind the back, you can do that. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's not going to give you a disadvantage or nothing. It's just sometimes the Jamal Murray just gives you a little bit more space when you do that. L2 will cancel with it. But like I said before, it's all about your preference. It's all about what dribble moves you can sacrifice to make other dribble moves better. So it's about your dribble style at the end of the day. Uh, but for the last three you want to put on to this one, it's going to be Spin Darius Garland, Hesitation Darius Garland, and Step Back Stephen Curry. Now that I'm thinking back at it, I would change on this setup. I might want to put on James Harden Step Back just because it looks better. And the Darius Garland Spin, I might change that to Jamal Murray. But again, it's preference. But that's the end for the six setup number three. But again, this is my favorite setup. Damn, I, I keep I feel like I keep repeating myself. My bad. I'm really tired today, y'all. But I, I wanted to get a video out for y'all, so that's why I'm forcing myself to do it. But I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm really tired. But yeah, let's get into the last and final one, the number four setup. And this this is a good setup too. I like this setup. And I might end up using this one instead. Like I said, I don't know what escape package I like the best. But if y'all, if you're sure, you can already see that that's Jimmy Butler escape package. But for the dribble style, you want to put Kyrie Irving signature size up Darren Fox or Steve Francis. Again, I feel like Darren Fox just look better when you dribble. So that's just my preference. If you like Steve Francis, better put that on. I'm not forcing you to use Darren Fox, but I promise you, if you make the change to Darren Fox, you're going to know why it's better. But as y'all can see, I don't know what it is about the Jimmy Butler. It's just so satisfying to use. Uh, Jimmy Butler, it just feels faster. Like when you do the, the fast L2 cancel. Like, you see if I do this. Is, these are pre-recorded pre clips. I don't know. You see right, that right there. You see how fast that look with the Jimmy Butler. Again, the regular breakdown combo and aggressive breakdown combo is going to be the same. Again, I'm not. <laughs> see, I got to explain this every time or something. No, I'm not going to repeat myself this time. Y'all know why I use these. Again, you don't have to use these. I just feel like these are the best ones if you ask me. Uh, if I were to rank, if I were to rank like the escape packages, I'd probably put Trey Young top, then Jimmy Butler. But they share in the first place, I ain't gonna lie. But Trey Young, Jimmy Butler, Darren Fox, and Kimber Walker. That's my opinion. But again, it's all preference. But the next thing you want to slap on is the Jimmy Butler escape moves and the combo moves Kyrie Irving or Steph Curry or Darren Fox. Combo moves is up to you again. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all. Make sure y'all use Darren Fox dribble style. Not a dribble style. Uh, motion style. Or Kyrie Irving motion style. Steph Curry motion style. Or elite motion style. Motion style, it, 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 it changes like the way your player moves. I think even on defense as well. So it's all about finding the motion style you think looks best for your player i think i use elite right now but it might be darren fox probably use elite or darren fox that's my two favorite ones and for the crossover you got john wall and for the behind the back you got jamal murray normally when i do a sick video i don't really sit here and explain so much about it that's probably why i keep repeating myself a lot i'm not really used to that but normally i i just be showing gameplay and then i show you what six i got on this gameplay but i feel like i wanted to get more into details for my new people and for my advanced people you feel me like so I hope this video helped, but let me know if y'all just want the old, old sick videos back. I, I was kind of experimenting with this to see how it was. I felt like it was, it was good, you know what I'm saying? It's, not, it's, it's switching it up a little bit, so it's not just the same. But again, for the last three, Spin, Darius Garland, Hesitation, Chris Paul, and Step Back, Stephen Curry. These were the four setups. But yeah, you made it to the end of the video, and as always, I appreciate you for making it to the end. Like I said in the beginning, get this video to 500 likes, and I'll drop that dribble tutorial for y'all. If you're new to the channel, make sure you drop a like and a comment, and don't forget to sub. It helps me out way more than you can imagine, and it takes you one second to click that like button. And then I hope y'all have an amazing day, and I'll see y'all in the next video. So it's out.